Hey you bunch of fishing legends and welcome to my channel. Subscribe to join my fishing adventures chasing the elusive Mulloway Jew Silver Ghost. Whatever you want to call them, I think they're one of the most rewarding fish to catch. Plenty of tips, tricks and tactics to hopefully help you catch that fish of a lifetime. Hope you enjoy what I have to offer. Cheers. I thought I'd answer a few of those questions. Oh yeah, good fish. And as for headlights, gummy or a mully. I thought I'd show you me trace now. Woo! I've tried a lot of different waders. These are the rod holders I use. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I went and bought this one, the... Uh... Hey, a bunch of fishing legends, and welcome back to another episode. I've had a lot of comments over me in my videos over the last couple of years asking about all the gear I use waders, um, rods, reels, line, hooks, and glow, well, not too much about glow sticks. But anyway, in this episode, I thought I'd answer a few of those questions about all the gear I use. These are the glow sticks I use. To tell you the truth, I'm not that happy with these ones. I used to just buy the one, 10 pack, the ones that were in a 10 pack from Big W uh, glow bracelets. But this time I bought a big pack of 100 um, and they only seem to last half the night. They, they are pretty good, but they don't last all night. So if you want ones that are going to last all night, yeah, probably need to spend a bit more money. But yeah, I'll just get the ones from Big W. I'm about to chuck these on now. I haven't had any bites yet. Um, first couple hours I got here, just drizzled with rain, non-stop. Uh, but yeah, she seems to have cleared up now. Still a lot of black clouds around, but no rain. But anyway, I'll get stuck into it, get the starlights on. And over the course of the night, Oh, uh, yeah, there he is about uh, all the gear I use for fishing down the beach. So I'll bait up and uh, oh, I've got a new rod too. I'll uh, show you that a bit later. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can christen that tonight. Um, the weather's not supposed to be too bad. Northeast winds, uh, 15, 20 kilometres. So anyway, I'll get stuck into it. We'll see how we go. Eww. While I'm at it, I thought I'd show you my new rod. It's a Samaki Zing Gen 3 surf rod, 12 foot. It's a SZG. 1202SXH. It's a heavy duty. But, uh, a bloke I know put me onto it. He reckons they're awesome rods, so I thought I'd buy one, see what they're like. Pretty awesome looking rod. I think I got that for just over 200 bucks. So, yeah, cost a bit more than uh, the old beef stick, but. Yeah, I think a lot better quality. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Haven't caught a fish on it yet, but it's got a good feel to it. Uh, nice and light, light as, but plenty of strength. So yeah, that's my new rod. Look at that. I just wound it in. Didn't even know it was on there. I've, uh, I've caught one of these once before, I think. Some sort of catfish thing. 
I've only caught one down here once before, so they're not a common catch down here, that's for sure. Out of all the years I've been fishing down here, that's only the second one I've caught. I don't know what they are, but I think there's some sort of catfish thing. Anyway, that's the first fish. I thought I'd seen the rod bounce around a bit. Seen that little fella. Here he goes. Little caddy. Ew. Just cooked myself up some um, sticky barbecue chicken skewers. And I'll tell you what. They are yummo. Nothing like hot feed down the beach on a cold night. Yummo. Now for my burley, I use old pilchards. Every bait or two. Throw out three or four pillies. Pulled into pieces. Works well for me. Oh yeah. I'm on. You bloody ripper. Yeah. Starting to think there was no fish here. Woo! What do we got? Oh, something decent. Bit of weight there. Come on, what are we got? Oh yeah, good fish. Oh yeah, shark I reckon. Please tell me that's not a stingray. Oh, bloody big skate. Hooked in the flat. Yeah, that's why I thought he was something better. Oh yes, got it. That's a big, pretty big skate. He's off. Ew. Well, bit of action. Not the sort I wanted, but something. So far, only a crappy, crappy uh, catfish and a. Uh, Skate, but to start, uh, both on the um, squid, baby squid. Where there's skate, there's better fish. Decent gutter here. There we go. So this set up. I've got the uh, the beef stick, which is 15 to 24 kilo. It's uh, the uh, 1202XHS beef stick, and I did have the uh, pen clash reel on here, but the uh, bail arm went and stuffed off on me. The th thread on the screw on the bail arm, um, the thread wore out on it, and it's not even as old as my Saltus 8000. Um, so yeah, I'm not not too happy about that. Yeah, so I went and bought this one, the um, Daiwa BG 8000. Pretty similar to the Saltus 8000. A bit cheaper, but overall, I think it's pretty solid. Um, good quality reel so yeah hopefully it does as well as the uh, Saltus 8000 because I'm very happy with that so yeah see how it goes Another thing I've had a lot of comments about is waders. Over the years I've, I've tried a lot of different waders 
and I started off using horns waders and use them for a lot of years and then I thought I'd try some different ones and yeah they weren't weren't too flash I tried some cheaper ones and the, the boots got smelly with them um, and they they didn't last very long the um, material uh, ripped on them and didn't last very long at all and then I got the snow the last ones I had were snowby waders and I'll tell you what, I, I wasn't impressed by them at all. Um, they're pretty expensive. I think I paid 180, 180, 190 bucks for them. And from day one, I'd wear them the whole night. And when I'd take them off, um, I, don't know, I don't know whether it was leaking water through their legs, but every time I'd take them off, there's like wet patches just above the boot. Um, I don't know whether it's because of the crease there above the boot where the water was sitting and it soaked through, but or whether it was sweating. But yeah, I wasn't impressed by them at all. And plus, they were really high on the sides and really hard for, you know, when you're down the beach having a few drinks and you need a piss for the real real effort to try and have a piss with the bloody thing. So yeah, I've gone back to the horns waders. As far as I'm concerned, the horns waders are the best. I just get the ones with the uh, normal normal boots on them with the nipple sole. Uh, but you can get the blunt, blunt stone boots with them. I think they cost another 40 bucks or something with blunt stone boots, but I don't mind these, these, the boots on these ones. So yeah, I've gone back to the horns waders and I can highly recommend them. They last for years if you look after them, wash them off with fresh water after every trip. But yeah, I would recommend the horns one. I wouldn't recommend the Snowbee. They've, they've got the Snowbee, they've got more expensive ones. They reckon they're, they're better, but they're like, I think they're like, 280 or 300 bucks or something. Well, one of them means 350, but yeah, after having the other, trying the other ones, I wouldn't use them again. I'd recommend the uh, Horns Waders. They, uh, they're durable. You don't get um, sweaty, and they're easy to have a piss. If you need a piss, just undo these, pull them down. Easy to have a piss. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend the Horns Raiders. Can't complain with them at all. Eww. I'm on to something here. Oh yeah. Swam straight in. Oh, that's a good fish too. Oh yeah. That's a good fish, finally. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, head shakes. Gummy or a mully. Woo! Oh, good fish. Wow, is this a mully or a gummy? Oh, yeah. Oh, here it comes. Oh, good shark. Oh, yeah, big one. Oh, yeah. That's a good shark. Good size. Oh legends, have a look at that. Been a pretty quiet night so far. 110 centimetre gummy, that's a nice one. The girl. Gonna take this one home because I haven't got much in the freezer. Gotta get another bait in. Get into it. 110 centimetres. Yeah. And as for headlights, well, these are, I use the uh, Energizer headlights. I have, I've used them for years now. The first one I got was the red, one with the red strap. And that's just got um, the white light. Three different settings, I think it is. Yeah, three different settings. Good, reliable headlights, the Energizers. Um, 
this one's probably, oh god, that would be 20 years old I reckon, 15, 20 years old, still going. And then I got the uh, green headlight, green strap headlight, um, because it's uh, brighter again and it's got the red light on it so you don't shine in the water too much and it uh, saves a lot on power but yeah that's a bit brighter again from the red strap um, and a bit more expensive but yeah overall they're, they're very reliable headlights these the energizers um, and, and now I've got this one the uh, grey strap that's a few more lumens again I can't remember exactly how many lumens they are but I might actually put that on the video how many lumens each of them are I can't remember at the moment but uh, the red ones uh, the least powerful then you, you go the green and then the grey but overall they're very reliable value for money they don't cost much they don't cost much at all I think, I think the red one was only about 25 30 bucks uh, green one was about 35 I think and the, the grey one was 40 45 can't quite remember but overall if you, if you want a good reliable headlight that got plenty of brightness and they last forever um, energizers are a, a good good headlight overall I think I fully recommend them but yeah I, I think they're good headlights the old energizers if you want a good reliable headlight for not much give them a go cheers yeah <laughs> we're on to something oh yeah baby Woo! what do we got salmon is it uh, mull away. Yeah, small mull away. Eww. Have a look at that, legends. 70 centimetre. Nice mully. At quarter past one. Didn't get a fish for a while. Very quiet since that gummy shark. But now I got this piece, what a fish. Gotta get it back. Nice gummy, nice mully. Get another bait out. Yeah! That's a good fish. Off you go, girl. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah! So I thought I'd show you my trace now on the uh, sinker trace. Got uh, 60 pound black magic fluorocarbon. The hook trace is uh, 80 pound black magic fluorocarbon. Got a glow bead there, the Halco swivel, uh, the stop line twist there, and a Halco swat snap swivel down the bottom to a six ounce grapple sinker. Um, I've tried using four ounce. I've tried using um, the breakaway sinkers, but they don't hold well enough for me. I like to have plenty of tension on my rod. So I use the um, six ounce grapple sinker. That does the job for me. And with my hooks, I use two 10 BKK octopus hooks on the top two hooks and then the bottom one which I normally use on the tail of the pilchard or head of the squid I use a 8 BKK octopus hook on this reel which is the um, Soldus 8000 Soldus 8000 I've got eight, 80 pound um, I think it's Daiwa depth finder braid on that one, 80 pound. I wasn't actually going to use this for, I actually was using it for the boat, for jigging and that out in the 
deep drops and that, but um, decided to use it down the beach and does a good job, so I've kept using it. But yeah, the Saltus 8000, I can thoroughly recommend that that reel. It's uh, been a good reel for me. Um, I've had that three or four years now and hasn't missed a beat. And I just got this new rod, which I showed you earlier, the uh, Samaki Zing. And yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with that too. But yeah, that's that's the other setup I've got. I showed you the other one earlier. But yeah, very happy with these these setups. And this rig has done well for me over the years. So yeah, I'm very happy with the rig. It uh, catches plenty of fish for me. So yeah, that's me set up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's another big fish. Wow, big head shakes. Whoa, is it another gummy or is that a mully this time? Hopefully a mully. Whoa, eat the head shakes. Yeah. Wow. This is unbelievable fishing. Big head shakes. That feels like mully head shakes. And it is. Oh, that's a good mully. Oh, wow, that's a good fish. Nice fish. Yeah, only just threw that out. Nice fish. Hey, legends. Have a look at that. 77 centimeters of mulloway. Oh, what a nice fish. And again, got to get her back nice and healthy. On the pillay, you gotta get her back. You. There you go. 77 centimeters. Look at her go. She's off. Yee! These are the rod holders I use. I got a, a mate welded these up for me years ago. They're aluminium, just two um, corner slats of um, aluminium welded together to the bar, welded onto the side here. And uh, they're light as, but strong as. These are gonna be, oh God, they're going to be 15, 20 years old, these rod holders. Probably more, probably 20, 20 odd. And yeah, as you can see, they don't rust. Strong as, light as. They do an awesome job. Definitely can't complain with them. End of another awesome session. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to help support my channel, I'll leave a link in the description for my merch shop. Thanks, Legend. See you in the next one. Yee!